Now, there are just 113 days until the first bell at the Olympic boxing tournament. Now, in 2000, 2004 and 2008, one man would have been losing sleep and plotting and planning and scheming for glory for Britain's boxers. Because this, this, these are his stats. Three Olympics, he was in charge. Just 11 boxers in total. And at the three Olympics, he had a stunning return of two golds, one silver and two bronzes. Now, that is statistically... The best return medal v athlete ratio in British sporting history. Okay, and he's also we talked to him about this, been offered something which I think is quite astounding. In a way, it's a delight to welcome back to the show Terry Edwards. Good afternoon, Terry. Good afternoon, Fancy. How are you doing? Yeah, Terry, you do know about those stats. Obviously, you're part of it, but you do realise there's no other sport that's had a return like that for so few athletes, don't you? I, di I didn't know about other sports, but I certainly knew that it, it was a, a, obviously uh, a, a great achievement over the, the three Olympics, of course. Yeah. yeah. Because there's more stable boys go to each Olympic than we send boxers. How about yeah, that? Right. Yeah, there you go. So that, that, that and, and you never have a massive team around you, did you? I mean, what, what's the no, most what's no. the most amount of people you've had back up? Not not boxers, actual back up at any of the Olympics. Uh, I think it. It, it obviously was Beijing, I yeah. think, and that was simply because of the UK funding and the amount of qualifiers that we had. I mean, the, the number of qualifiers we had in Beijing exceeded, I think, the previous three Olympics put together. <laughs> it did, it did, because the previous three Olympics total was only five, and you had eight, you so you, 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 you slaughtered yeah. it. But yeah. how many was that, four or five at the most uh, around you? I, uh, well, I actually accredited to come to the Olympics. Yeah, yeah, to help you. So, like, we're talking uh, about, you I know, four. Phys I had four. And, I mean, the BRA gave me four accreditations, and I, I had myself uh, and two other coaches because of the number of boxes we had and a, a sports um, a video analysis. That's just that's just you know ridiculous when you compare that to other sports. So Terry, in the in the days leading up, 113 days before the first bell at uh, at the XL in this year's uh, Olympics, and you're going to be involved, aren't you? I am. I am, uh, Steve. I've been involved now with Logo for the last 15 months as the boxing technical operations manager, and uh, and it's getting really exciting. I mean, it's, it's obviously a, a bigger challenge or a different mm. challenge that I had as the head coach and performance director for GB. But it's, uh, it's tremendous excitement going on now, yeah. Now, tell you, will there be t two rings, or will there just be extended sessions? Do you know any, any details? Can you share any details yeah. like that with us? Of course, of course. No, there will be one ring, uh, and there will be... I mean, the boxing starts on the following day from the opening ceremony, which is the yep. 28th of July, finishes on the 12th. Uh, so we've got 16 days of competition. Um, we have 28 sessions. There will be two sessions on most days. Uh, and the girls or the female boxers, which is, again, uh, the very, very first time that females have uh, competed in the Olympics. Yeah. Uh, and we have 36 of those and 250 male athletes. Oh, so, so two hundred and eighty, eighty-six, or whatever it is. Uh, then, uh, tell me, how late will these will these bouts be? You know, when when might the last bell be on on you know on for general for general night, not the semi-finals and finals? When might the last bell be most nights out of the XL? Eleven thirty. It could be that uh, late, yeah. Wow. Yeah. The, first, the first session starts at one thirty and uh, and finishes at four thirty. Uh, and the second session starts at eight thirty and finishes at eleven thirty. Wow, starts as as, late, doesn't it? As long, listen, as long as they all about to the time. Wow, but th th that's really late. I'm surprised it starts that late. Generally, I mean, my experience is it generally starts a bit earlier. But hey, listen, that's 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 all good. Yeah, I think I think I think I think there's a number of, of, of reasons for it. I think that because the boxing is at the XL and there's five other sports or seven sports in total in the XL uh, and I think is uh, they've tried to stagger some of the times so that the, the spectators are still 
can get on it a lot easier with the transport, I think. Oh, because of the departures. Otherwise, you'd have everyone yeah. leaving all of the other yeah. sports there. Everyone and, left at the same time, I think it would cause a... And it'll be, it'll be um, busy. I mean, we, we've got this five uh, five British boxers so far. There's another five, another seven, hoping to make the final five places. We've got three right. women. It looks like we'll get all three women through, and I'm not being cocky. I mean, we've you know, they're, that's a powerful group of women. So there could be as many, I think, as 11 or 12 uh, British boxers could there, be. which is brilliant. Could be. It could be, it could be, yeah, yeah could exceed uh, Beijing, and, uh, and I truly hope they do. Um, it's interesting, I think, that uh, certainly at the, at the library, I think that GB are sending now <laughs> one at each, uh, one from each country, uh, Scotland, Wales, and England will be uh, represented in, uh, in Turkey in that qualifier. Yep. So hopefully one of those will qualify for that. And, uh, and then again, uh, Callum Smith has moved up now from to, to, to up to light one. heavy, yep. Yeah, which is uh, it was just another birth there. I tell you what, it's it, it's in, it's it's interesting times going in for British boxing, but I'm also hearing on the on on, on Whisper Vine that you were offered what what many would consider to be one of the one of the best jobs, not just in sport but certainly in amateur boxing. What's the story, Terry? Can you tell us anything? Uh, well, a couple of weeks ago, I was approached. Uh, I, I mean, I've been doing some consulting work in in America, not with necessarily USA boxing. Mm-hmm. But I've been doing some consulting work out there. And a couple of weeks ago, I was approached by the uh, USA Amateur Boxing Association uh, and to make inquiries if I would be uh, putting myself up for the National Coach for America. And I, I, I to include the Olympics? Astounded. Yeah, for this Olympics and, wow. and to carry on to, to the next Olympics. And... Uh, I had to sit down to be honest. Sure, I thought, I thought, hang on, this is uh, Cameron camera joke. Um, <laughs> That's a massive no, joke. It was a genuine, it was a genuine offer, and uh, they wanted me to uh, to do that. And I, I have to say, I, I was I was very very flattered, obviously, to be offered that position, which I think you rightly said was probably the biggest job in in maybe amateur boxing, yeah. and especially with with the fortunes of. Uh, of American boxing in the past for the Olympics, and, uh, and I, it would have been a, a tremendous challenge, and I would have been very, very excited to accept it. And uh, but I'm very, very happy in, in my life at the moment. I, as I say, I'm working for Low Coke, and I really am enjoying it. Uh, I, I have to say, I, I, I discussed it with my family, and um, and I have uh, two children. I have a granddaughter, and it was difficult. Because I would have had to relocate, and uh, so I, I thanked them very much for their offer, and, uh, <laughs> and unfortunately, turned <laughs> it down. I tell you what, I mean, all jokes aside, that 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 you know, you, you looked at it. You have to move out to Colorado Springs, spent four spent four and a half years in America developing their two Olympic teams, and you had to look at it, had a little think about it. Looked at your family around you and thought, Nah, I'd rather stay. I tell you what, Terry, that is that is that is some gig to turn down, mate. That's incredible. It certainly was. It certainly was. Oh, uh, well, yeah. well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm an optimist, and one door closes, another one opens. I'm sure, and. Uh, and I'm getting to the I'm getting to the stage now where maybe I need to put my feet up a little bit longer. No, well, listen, that, 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 listen, that's the second thing you said tonight that I don't believe, and the other thing was off air when you tried to convince me you'd had black pudding, sausage, and bacon for your breakfast this morning. I know you were fibbing about that, and that's for putting your feet up, putting your slippers on. You're fibbing about that. Listen, Terry, it's a delight to have you on, mate. Take care. Thanks very much. Bye bye.